Hello everyone. Welcome back to Ortho Implants for Life. I am Arinda Mukhopadhyay and today we will discuss about calcaneal locking plate and its fixation procedure. So let's begin. So today we are going to talk about calcaneal fracture and calcaneal locking plate. The locking calcaneal plates address complex fractures of calcaneus including but not limited to extraarticular intraarticular joint depression tongue type and multifragmentary fractures. This diagram shows where the calcaneal fracture happens in general where the incision is made and where the plate gets fixed. Here is an x-ray of calcaneus locking plate fixed in the fracture site. The process of fixation. This is a calcaneal locking plate. It is a site specific plate available in left and right, available for left and right leg. Both of these plates in the picture are right side plate and it is available in small and medium size lengthwise and these two are left side plate we will take in consideration left side plate for today's demonstration calcaneal plate is a 3.5 system we can fix this plate with a locking cortical locking cancellous non locking cortical or with non locking cancellous screws as you can see in this screw tray these are 3.5 locking cortical screw which is provided from 12 mm to 60 mm with 2 mm difference in the diameter these are 3.5 mm cortical screws provided in the same sizes 12 to 60 mm with 2 mm difference in the diameter these are 3.5 mm locking cancellous screw which is provided from 12 mm to 45 mm and this is 4 mm full thread cancellous screw this is also provided from 12 mm to 60 mm as per quantity generally five pieces of locking cortical screw four pieces of cortical screw two pieces of cancellous full thread screw four pieces of locking cancellous screws here as you can see there are two of each sides provided and the rest of the two is provided here now the instruments required for the fixation of this calcaneal locking plate are as follows First we will need a 3.5 mm drill sleeve. Then for locking screw, 2.8 mm drill bit. And for non-locking 3.5 mm cortical screw and for 4 mm cancellous screws, 2.7 mm drill bit is required. Remember 2.8 mm drill bit for locking screws and 2.7 mm drill bit for non-locking screws. Next, 3.5 mm tap for non-locking screws. Then depth gauge in order to measure the length of the screw required. Then 3.5 mm solid screw driver will be needed. also various sizes of k wires are provided k wires are a very important piece of equipment it has got multiple functions like holding the plate in the position of the fracture or to reduce the fracture of the bone it can be used in different purpose normally for this kind of surgery k wires are provided from 1.5 mm to 2.5 mm four pieces each is necessary 
Now let's come to the fixation part. As you can see these holes, these are all locking holes. You can pass a locking screw, either a locking screw or a non-locking cortical or cancellous screws can be used to attach this plate in the fracture site. In order to fix a 3.5 mm locking screw, first we will attach the 3.5 mm locking sleeve in the plate. Then we take a 2.8 mm drill bit and drill through the locking sleeve. After the drilling is done, we remove the locking sleeve and use the depth gauge to measure the length of the screw that is needed to be provided and fixed in this plate. After measuring the length of the screw which will be fixed in this plate, we will take a 3.5 mm locking cortical screw and with the help of a 3.5 mm solid screwdriver, we will fix this screw on the desired hole of this plate in the fracture site. If non-locking screws are needed to be fixed as well, we will take a 2.7 mm drill bit and drill through this hole. And drill through this hole. Again, we use a depth gauge to measure the length of the screw needed to be fixed. After this, if required, we will use a 3.5 mm bone tap to make the entry of the screw smoother. Now make a note, for cancellous bones, tapping is generally not required. Also let me inform you, because calcanium is mostly made up of cancellous bones, cortical screws are generally not used. In general, locking cancellous screws or a full thread solid cancellous screw will be used to fix this plate. This is a 3.5 mm locking cancellous screw. And this one is a 4mm full thread cancellous screw. Cancellous screws are generally compatible with cancellous bones. You can either use a locking cancellous as we are considering here. We are using a 3.5mm screwdriver and we fix it on the desired hole. If advised by surgeon, we will also provide 4mm full thread cancellous which can be again fixed to the plate with the help of a 3.5 mm screwdriver. The difference between a locking cancellous and a full thread cancellous screw is locking cancellous screws gets locked in both the bone and the plate and full thread cancellous only gets locked in the bone and not in the plate. Now we repeat the same process to fix as many screws as per the surgeon's call. Make a note here, for a calcaneal locking plate, at times it might be needed to cut the plate from places in order to get the perfect fit for the fracture site. Because at times calcaneal fracture might differ from person to person. That's when we will need a jumbo cutter. This will help us to cut the plate and it is a very important piece of equipment needed. This can help us cut the plate from any angle. And lastly, we will use a 3.5 mm torque limiting screwdriver to do a final check for the locking screws. For both locking cancellous or locking cortical, we will conduct a final check with each screws by fixing it in the head of the screw and keep rotating until it makes the click sound. Once you get the click sound, you will not apply any further pressure on the screw. This device will be only used for the locking screws.
So that's all for today. If you have enjoyed the video, like it, share it. If you are new to our channel, subscribe it. Hit the bell icon to get the notifications for our upcoming videos. If you have any queries, comment below and we will surely reply back. If you want to know more about career prospects in orthopedic implant industry and wish to start a career in orthopedic implant industry, please click the link below in the description box and DM us to know more. Thank you and see you in our next video.